Hello and welcome back to the Sam Beast YouTube channel and another one in our series of ITAM shorts. We're talking to Stuart Pomfret today and basically I wanted to understand from him what kind of advice he'd give to someone looking for a career in IT asset management, whether that be in the sales side of things, technical, end user, vendor driven, you know, whatever it may be, what is his advice for it? Um, and considering that Stuart's been around for a long time, you know, he's a really good person to listen to um, in understanding how you can get into different areas of ITAM. So no spoiler alerts i hope you enjoy the video and we'll see you on the next one um that's a, that's a good question a tricky one as well it's a big question as you it say it is a big question uh i think you you need to you need to be interested in it um and and clearly we are we are interested in it and have become interested and more interested in it i think the thing is you need to understand i think stakeholder management is one of the the really big ones and that's what i mentioned just a minute ago um really understand the business this is not an it problem it's a business problem so understand the business understand what you know what your goals are i think victoria barber of snow and my first sam boss at centrica she often mentions do you know what your company mission statement is and most people don't so really understand the business of you know in which you are trying to become a part of um and if you're going to be a, a, an analyst or a, or a manager within one business then obviously know that business and um, be interested in technology generally you know i'm not technical at all i can plug in some wires and leads and stuff <laughs> so i used to be able to like flatten a, a pc and rebuild it but that's about it so uh, you know i've never done anything technical like you know engineer or you know spin up database or anything like that but i am quite interested in, in technology and how it helps and what it does and how it all links in and you talk about RPA and machine learning and AI and all the other cliche three letter, two letter words that words. pop out. Um, so I think you have to be interested in that. Um, it is quite detail focused, I think, unless you're a salesperson, <laughs> thankfully. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I also think from my perspective, I, I, I like the fact that I've done it, although not for some time. <laughs> in in the field because you can because i think a lot of the time when you're a consultant when you're an analyst even when you're a salesperson being able to go oh when i did it this happened and i fixed it by doing this yeah. so i think yeah, you've got to find the bit you're interested in most i think um there are some generic courses and some more interactive courses that will give you a high level um and just find out if, if if that's what you want to do speak to some people there's a lot of people in in our industry and in our little group of item friends that are happy to speak to anyone give them advice this is what i did there's lots of different experiences um people who worked for one company for a long time people work for lots of companies done their own business you obviously tool a bit of tool a bit of analyst now a bit of, bit of end user now you've got your own thing going on so i think getting that breadth of, of view I and mean, there's lots and lots of opportunities there's there is a you know the the skills gap is there um and that's why a lot of customers come to the likes of us because and you to, to fill in the gaps because they need someone to be able to do the stuff they can't recruit for and also sometimes they don't know what they what they want from a recruitment perspective so yeah it's not particularly <laughs> no no, no. I clarified answer. Where you're coming from i think um there's things that are for, that you can do for free right so there's enthusiasm and interest has kind of got me a long way in terms of like you said you've got to be interested in someone if the spark's not there it's not there it's obviously not for you you know some people call it a dry subject hands up i i wouldn't call it a dry subject 
it's not for everyone but you know if you do find that spark and you get enthusiastic about it and you get into it and you learn about it more you can go a long way speaking of going a long way your final question is another big one i deliberately save them till last item 2030 what, what what does it look like what are we saying um vendors will still order it. Box. <laughs> cost will still be wasted um it'll be more complex <laughs> well now, if you look at uh obviously rpa is going to take off yeah. the containers uh market is already pretty buoyant that will go fairly you know a lot a lot bigger as well 